Lord, remember David, and all his self-denial. He swore an oath to the Lord, he made a vow to the mighty one of Jacob. I will not enter my house or go to my bed. I will allow no sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids. Till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. We heard it in Ephrathah, we came upon it in the fields of Jar. Let us go to his dwelling place, let us worship at his footstool, saying. Arise, Lord, and come to your resting place, you and the ark of your might. May your priests be clothed with your righteousness, may your faithful people sing for joy. For the sake of your servant David, do not reject your anointed one. The Lord swore an oath to David, a sure oath he will not revoke, one of your own descendants I will place on your throne. If your sons keep my covenant and the statutes I teach them, then their sons will sit on your throne forever and ever. For the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it for his dwelling, saying. This is my resting place forever and ever, here I will sit enthroned, for I have desired it. I will bless her with abundant provisions, her poor I will satisfy with food. I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will ever sing for joy. Here I will make a horn grow for David and set up a lamp for my anointed one. I will clothe his enemies with shame, but his head will be adorned with a radiant crown. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Praise the Lord, all you servants of the Lord who minister by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion, he who is the maker of heaven and earth.